live in Nitro and Hulk, they, they say Hulk, Hulk's going to cut a promo and then you guys jump in. That, that, as soon as we heard that, that's when Scott and I said, well, fuck, we can start drinking about 11. Because if Hogan's going to talk, that'll be the segment. I mean, we'll just sit back with sunglasses on like this. Lean on the rope. Exactly. Uh, voice of God. Uh, what are the Fight TV fans asking? All right, let's see here. Kevin, who did the ideas of the Master Blasters, Oz, Vinny Vegas? When did they all come from? Where did they all come from? Vinny Vegas was mine. I watched My Blue Heaven with uh, Steve Martin. I thought, I can make a wrestling character out of this guy. Um, the other ones were their shit. So, and, and successful as it was. <laughs> Another one? Yes. Uh, Mary Kate Anthony asks, if you have wrestled all over the world and back, can you share some of your favorite memories of Madison Square Garden shows and the fans there? Well, I think the, the one that comes to mind is, of course, the curtain call. Because that was the first time I worked the garden. Uh, stoned. Because we didn't care if they pissed test us because it was our last show. And what were they going to do? Make us go to WCW? So, what was the item of choice? What's that? What was the item of choice? Oh, we know, but Scott and I... Oh, smoke. Because if that was... If you smoked, it was like you were, you know... And I knew that someday I would move to Florida and get my medical marijuana card and this would all be legal. Woo. So when I talked about it now, it'd be like... Wow, cutting edge. He knew the medical properties of it. So I already knew about masturbation. Because you read medical journals in your spare time. I'm, I'm smoking cannabis and not taking painkillers. That's why I'm here at 63. That's, that's the truth. Not to get off the, uh, the curtain call so quickly. Um, it, that's another thing that's taken on a life of its own. Oh, Jesus. Was it as big a deal? I just never thought it was a big deal. I Because we were all reading on the internet. We all got the newsletters. Vince had his office at the garden. It was a small little locker room. That was Vince's office. And I remember walking in with Shawn Michaels, and Shawn said, Vince, after the match, after I beat Kev, he said, we're going to do this thing where we're going to bring Paul, well, he said Triple H, and Razor out. And um, Vince was doing something with Pat. They were talking. They were, had the, the, they, they were going through something. And Vince just turned around and he goes, is it, is, it, is, it, is it important to you? He goes, yeah. And he goes, well, if it means that much, you just do it. So, I mean, I, I watched. I, I, Heard him say it. Vince mightn't have cared, but there have been workers who have taken objections. I think what I think that I think that we would have took a bow and got out. I think the fact that we went to all four corners and but it's like anything else. You know, if you're the Rolling Stones and you do satisfaction and the and the people won't leave, they're saying we want more and more and more, and you haven't hit brown sugar yet. Keep playing. A little something, something. So we walked through. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people don't know this, but Mick and I just got married in Utah. So yeah. My husband, Mick Legal Foley. Thank you. <laughs> first, time, first time I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Nash. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, I thought this was the 15th anniversary of our run in TNA together. No? no? Wait, the, Wrong podcast? Gonna, no, this is coming up. Coming up? Okay. The, the Legends match. We're going to go out there and make some serious <laughs> <laughs> can, can I, can I, you've heard this story, and you know the story. And I was doing the, the uh, wraparounds for Most Wanted Treasures, and I said, there's always a light flipping moment where it's like everything changes and I say for you that light flipping moment was watching Sting and Jake 
and Jake's out there and he's kind of, he's no, kind of no selling Sting's offense. And Kevin turns around and goes, I know one thing. If he can get away with that with those little skinny legs, then so can I. <laughs> Everything changed from that moment on. So, all right, glad to be here. Thanks. Have a nice day. That's it. Ah, I can pull up a chair. What the heck? Oh, yeah. We got the chair. Woo! Are we cleared for another hour? Who's on after this? They, they can't be as important as this. I'm kidding. So if you haven't had a chance, this is a uh, very good friend of mine, Mick, and he's He's got uh, Folius Pod. I do. Right. So that's uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, and watch my friend tell some uh, very some, some 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 heartfelt stories. Sometimes, yeah. The, 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 the one with the uh, the sick child and the I, I was just sitting there going, God, Mick, I was like hoping maybe you'd cheer me up a little 